Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers ship build review. And uh, this time, I gotta tell you, I found something really cool. I saw this on a YouTube video. I don't know if this is the same author. Uh, the original author that I saw that had built this was a guy on YouTube named Toha De Se. Um, that, that, that is how I'm, I'm pronouncing his name. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. I don't know if this is his build or not because this build is, does not have anyone on it. But I have gotten on here and found this. If this is your build, man, uh, this is awesome. And I know everyone is going to have a 90s anime nerdgasm as well as a cyberpunk and ghost in the shell gasm when you see this. But this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I I saw a video on this, and I personally requested... I, I saw a video of his. It's called Desert Phantom Space Engineer Short Cinematic. I will provide a link to this in the description, because it the cinematic he had just did it for me with the, the vehicle. This thing is a, is a six hexa-suspended hexa spider mech with an assault cannon attached to it. And yes, you, you can pilot this thing. It actually works. This thing is amazing. So, if y'all remember my hover tank and my hover car tutorial, uh, or no, my hover tank and my hover car thing I did, that's basically what this is. But it is built in a hover-like fashion. If you ever watched Ghost in the Shell, and you remember the old spider bots that would zip around and move really quickly, that's what this thing is but you can jump inside of it and you can use it and you can drive it and it's amazing. <laughs> it's so cool and it has all these amazing upgrades that have been done to it uh, that just make it really functional. Before we keep going in here, let's just go up and let me show y'all where this is. Now there's two of these things. There's one in Espanol, I believe. No, we don't want that ship pulled in. But we've also got this. This is the DK Hover Mech. Both of them, I don't know who the author is right here. You can see we've got a bunch of question marks. I don't know if that's by design or if uh, for some reason Steam is just not recognizing who the name is. Whoever has done this, if it is if if it is Toha Dan, uh, Toha Da, please, or anyone else, thank you. This is amazing. You have made you have made all my dreams for space engineers come true. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hit a like on this thing. It does you does require heavy industry DLC, and requires the wasteland DLC. Now this says it is missing a mod or something. I'm not sure what the mod is. It's missing, but it seems to work perfectly. So let's just go over here real quick and just hop in this crazy thing. So you can see right here, this thing's actually pretty cool. Now let me turn this off and explain to you the task bar here. Okay, so number one, we have our cannon. Push that and it resets the gun. Some kind of timer block system. Don't ask me how it works. I'm not good with timer blocks. Number two is our uh, turret camera for the gun. Very nice. We love that. Number three and number four is the friction limiter. So with this, I can just lower the friction limit down. Right now it doesn't move. Now that I've lowered the friction, get a little boost here. Come on, baby. There we go. Yeah, once we get moving, we can move. And now it just hovers. It is literally the spider mech from Ghost in the Shell. That's what we're driving here. So, number five is our current camera that we're looking through. It has, it has everything we want. Number six moves the back end up and down. Um, I'm just, I just... God, you have no idea how much fun this is right now. Number seven and number eight are rather interesting. By turning both of these off you can now shift this thing so you can fire the main cannon and it will now shift up and down because of the hexadecimal because of the hexapedal system that this thing is on you're talking about something you can turn and yet yeah, it, it sounds like it's clanging good but it's got good accuracy and it will do the job perfectly the the timer block appears to reset this thing. If I hit it twice, it'll keep the gun up in the upper position. But I can turn this thing pretty easily, maneuver it fairly well, and 
and just start blasting things with it rather effectively. As long as I keep it going. This is something rather interesting because the way this thing is designed, it is just amazing how this thing works. Now, one thing I know about hovering ships, they are very good at getting around places. This is something that is heavy armor, probably. You're going to make it where you want to go. And it sounds like it's clanging all the crap, but it, it just works. I mean, Todd Howard right now, it, it just works. <laughs> Let me tell you. <clears throat> but you've got two large, you got a, a large cannon here. You can probably add another cannon just to be fun with it. I don't know what the flip back of the cannon is, if it's just aesthetics if whoever has made this if you see the video please put some comments in the section in the comment section about how this thing works you can see it me just driving this thing around it is fast and it, it can do what you needed to do I can, I can even aim down you send a shell out there <laughs> this thing is just too cool I'm telling you it is just too dang cool and I will probably try to build my own version of this at some point. I Yes, I, I am stealing this thing, and I am building an IWL version of this, because we need this. We, we need some type of little hover kill drone that flies in and just starts wrecking things as we, we go along. Love the design of it. Love the way it looks. But y'all tell me what you think if you enjoy looking at this thing and just how cool this thing looks. Because it is just amazing looking at this thing. It, it is just so beautiful. I love it. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. A link to this will be in the description, as always. You guys can go get it and check it out. It's kind of moving a little bit. I should probably slap the... Turn the one deal back on. But yeah, put the friction back on. You could, you could probably add whatever you want to this thing. You probably add cannons. You could probably add a machine gun, a missile launcher. I'd, I'd probably go for a full package. I'd want a cannon, a missile launcher for splash damage, cannon for piercing, and probably like an undermounted machine gun for taking out all those engineers on ground level. But anyway, folks, as always, thank you for watching. This has been Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. Enjoy the robot, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, I will see you next time. This is Badge Wild, signing out.